Let's dive into a fascinating art movement called Expressionism. Expressionism originated in Germany in the early 20th century. Expressionism started because people felt a lot of big changes happening around the year 1900. Cities were growing, machines were becoming important, and things were different. Also, there was a big war, World War I, that made people feel very sad and lost. The war and the changes in society made people feel disconnected, like they didn't belong. Expressionism was a way for artists to express these feelings and show what was happening inside their minds and hearts. Artists during this time didn't like the normal way of making art that showed things exactly as they looked. They thought it couldn't capture how people were feeling inside. So they began making art in a new way, using bold colors and strange shapes to show strong emotions. Let's take a look at some popular expressionist painters and their artworks. Observe their art carefully to see what characteristics they may have in common. Edvard Munch. Ernst Ludwig Kirchner. Egan Schiele. Wassily Kandinsky. Paula Moderson Becker. Gabriella Munter. Marion von Werfken. And Kata Kolvitz. What common characteristics did you see amongst the artworks? Some common characteristics you might have seen could include intense emotions, strange, distorted, or exaggerated forms and shapes, and bold and vibrant colors. Common art techniques used by expressionist painters include bold and energetic brush strokes, distorted forms, strong contrasts, and vibrant colors. Expressionism changed the art world by letting artists express their big feelings and emotions in a bold way. Before, art focused a lot on showing things exactly as they looked. Expressionism broke those rules and gave artists a way to show how they felt inside, even if it looked a bit strange. Today, we still see the influence of Expressionism. Artists use its ideas to show emotions in powerful and creative ways, allowing them to share their inner world with the rest of us.